I'm Greg, this is Jerry Foster from the GFI, and this is What's Up GF Look, second week uh, look at the GFI tournament that is coming up here in James Donaldson Park in beautiful Grand Forks, and we're at, we happen to be at James Donaldson Park right now, and I'm very ex just looking out at the field. I've spent many years sitting up there with my family. I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, what we've been doing, if you watched last week's show, we talked about three of the teams. We've got Australia, Seattle, and Langley coming. This week, we're going to hit three more teams. We're going to talk a little bit about something else, but uh, the Victoria Mavericks. Victoria what do we Mavericks. know about Victoria? Well, one thing we do know that's uh, up to date, it, it just in fact happened this Sunday night, so that's not long ago. Victoria Mavericks uh, won the uh, 2011 BC Senior Championship. Okay. So they uh, dethroned the uh, Burnaby Bulldogs uh, in the last few years have, have been, you know, the top team of the province. Really. And who have, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think they've played at this tournament. Uh, they have. And um, so Victoria, now the team that won and uh, it was in Kelowna at the, the Provincials last weekend, mm -hmm. uh, they'll, certainly there'll be some changes from that team. There'll be mm -hmm. some of the uh, college players that they have that will have to go to college, but they'll uh, they'll reload, and uh, they've been here before. So again, the question is: I think they realize what they're facing, and so we hope that they'll, you know, they'll come with uh, some um, uh, really a strong team, and they're anxious to come. And that brings us to a team that really. It, I know you talked a lot about the Seattle Studs, saying it was the one of the finest semi-pro programs. Now this is probably one of the finest collegiate programs that is not NCAA. In, in my opinion, the Lewiston Truckers. Well, so. Greg, for sure. I mean, uh, the Lewiston Truckers, uh, you know, players from Lewis Clark State College, mm -hmm. uh, they uh, arguably have, have been the top NAIA team over the last three decades. Definitely. Well, the, the record speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. uh, they won, is it, about 16 national championships. Uh, no other team is close to that. No. And they're not far away, just in Lewiston, <laughs> Idaho. Uh, now, the big change in that team, of course, last year was the, uh, their longtime coach, uh, Hall of Famer Ed Sheff, uh, decided to retire. And Gary Picconi, a Canadian, mm -hmm. uh, originally from Trail, uh, has taken over the reins. And uh, he's got a challenge because he's got big shoes to fill. I mean, and, and, and it, 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 even if, even if uh, you don't know the name Ed Sheff, if you've come to the tournament, you've seen him. And if you saw him, you'd recognize him. Intense is a word I would use to describe that. Good show. word, very intense. And uh, but I, the thing is, I love, uh, and I think you do too, Greg. It, it, it's wonderful to have those those pure college teams. Oh, they're, here. they're personally I, they're I, my favorite yeah, to watch. I, I mean, you're never disappointed mm -hmm. because they're going to hustle, they're going to work hard. The fundamentals are strong. I mean, they've got a career in front of them, and they're looking. They're at college. They want to stay there. Mm -hmm. They want. They're on a scholarship. Excellent. So and and. And they've won more, if I'm not, I don't know what the record is, you'll set, this, set it straight for me, Jerry. They've won more GFIs than anyone else? Right, I think they're they up to about seven now. It's so around that. Around that, would that, be, yeah. uh, that would be more. No, it's more. Got, and if it isn't them, it, it's Seattle. Well, it's right. got to be. And Seattle has had different names, but always that same association mm -hmm. with the, uh, that the studs. And, I, and I'll tell you, uh, let's go into the history a little bit about, I mean, we've got to spend a little more time on Lewiston just because they're such a part of the GFI. Um, I, when Washington State University used to send a team here, and I was telling uh, my uh, co-host on the show, What's Up Grand Forks, uh, when they used to play Lewiston, because they're so close together, Pullman right. and Lewiston, Idaho, they used to play each other all the time in the preseason, and they hated each other. They, these two teams hated each other. You had Ed Sheff, who was this intense, amazing coach, and then you had uh, Bobo, Bobo Brayton, Brayton right? on yeah. the WSU, uh, easy Real going, rivalry. slap you on the back kind of guy, but these two teams hated each other, and when they played, it was an event here in Grand Forks, and it was just a, a, an amazing time. So I always get excited when Lewiston's playing. To here. give, uh, quickly, in regards to, to Lewiston and, and Lewis Clark State, just uh, a week or two ago, I was uh, browsing and doing some research. Right now, in the minor leagues, playing in the minor leagues, so there are the single A, double A, the triple A, uh, Lewis Clark State has 21 players that have been drafted that are playing in the minors right now. That's amazing. And that, that's amazing. And 20 of them have played here. That's great. <laughs> that is just that just shows you what, with the caliber of ball that, that, that we continue to draw here at, at the, the Absolutely. GFI. So, Another team, a uh, team I'm not familiar with, Jerry. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about them. Is the Cali Showcase? The Cali Showcase. Uh, they're based in Sacramento, and uh, they uh, run a baseball academy. And uh, 
called the Cali Showcase Academy. And uh, one of their players, Ronnie Johnson, who was, who was drafted by Colorado quite high in the draft uh, a few years ago, and, and uh, did play uh, up to about double AA, A, triple A. He was here several years ago at a couple of GFIs. He mm -hmm. came with one of those Sacramento teams. Okay. And um, so they've got this team that they've, they've started and uh, a few of the guys are, are connected with this uh, baseball academy. Uh, they'll be bringing uh, a couple of uh, just who, uh, high school grads who, who uh, seem to have good credentials. So uh, that's where the team is from, and uh, you know we look for good things from uh, Cali Showcase. Terrific, excellent. I always, I always like to see the, the these teams that that you know I, I personally don't know a lot about, and it's always you know it's that's one different thing about the GFI uh, versus say like even any sort of pro baseball. In pro baseball for the season, you kind of know what you're going to get. Here, there's always the question mark. So there's it's a, it's it's always spring here at the GFI. Anybody can win Anybody it on the first win, day. Yeah. So it's it's always a it's always a big question. Well, for sure, you get on a roll, and anything can happen. Exactly. So I want to I want to just uh, mention that it's going to start on the 31st. Yes. Uh, where where can they people get tickets? People can uh, get tickets, tournament passes uh, at Sears and Pharmacy. Sure. And uh, I always uh, say to folks, look buy a tournament pass for two reasons. Definitely. Convenience, in and out of the stadium, just like that. Mm -hmm. But also, it's a commitment to uh, to this wonderful event that does so much for this community in this area. To me, it's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. It's good to know that the GFI has not raised their ticket prices since 2003. That's insane. And you know, the ticket, if, if, you, if you factor in the amount of baseball versus that ticket price, if you do the, the math, it's it's cheap. It's 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 inexpensive Cheap. entertainment and it is beautiful and it's fun and everybody enjoys it. Four dollars or and change a game. Exactly. You, like you that. can't you can't you can't uh, you, you can't well you can buy that obviously you can buy it by buying a ticket and all this information we talked about we'll have links on the website where you can go to the GFI website and they'll have that and Jerry puts out a, a newsletter every week so look around town for that it's an amazing letter so next week when we talk I'm going to pose a question to Jerry who is the all time greatest player to come from the GFI to go to the major leagues. Was it Larry Walker or was it John Olerud? We'll talk about that next week. I'm Greg. This is Jerry. We'll talk to you then.